Hello guys, hello, hello, hello. My name is Summer and you're watching Summer Red Tarot. And guess what guys, this is my first, well it's not the first video I made on my camera, but this is the first time I'm gonna post that y'all actually gonna see. I know the lighting is trash. <laughs> I know the lighting is trash, but listen, 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 listen. I know what I gotta order, so it's, a, it's a, like a little attachment, like to give me a flash or whatever. I'm gonna try to get the dim the dim uh, the dimmable one, and put it over top of the camera because I thought this overhead light would do it, but it's just not doing it. It's just not. It's just not it. Like you get what I'm saying? It's just not it. So I have to get something I can put attached on the camera. I don't know why I had the bright idea of just put a light over it and put no. No, like <laughs> you get what I'm saying. So with that being said, just give me a little bit of time to work on my light, and I know it's trash right now, but it's not always going to be trash. I promise y'all that. Okay. So yesterday I had did a reading of, of how would they describe you? How would? Well, I said how would people describe you? How would people describe you? But today I would. But it did. I recorded that whole thing, and it didn't. How would people? How, how would that person describe me? How would that person? How would that person describe me? How would that person describe me? Right. So, and these cards, again, these cards have two of the animals on both sides. So, don't pick by the animal. Pick by, you know, the pile that you're called to. So I'm like, oh, I like ducks. Let me pick duck, right? But, anywho, like I was saying, um, this is a way you make this shit bigger, but I can't remember how to do it. I can't remember how to do it, but it's a way... That you can zoom in and you can zoom out. But I'm not really sure how to do it. I did it the other day. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. I gotta put it, I gotta put it on here, but it was a way. And I was like, damn, I wish I knew how to do it right now, because that would have been cool. Cause it was letting me zoom in right there and then like zoom out and stuff like that. And I guess that's how people be doing it. Like when I used to see it on people's videos, I had cameras. <laughs> I used to see it on people um camera um videos who had cameras and stuff. That's how they was doing it. So and I was excited, you know. So yeah. So I did the Patreon readings like um let's see if it can focus, get you guys a little close up so you guys can pick your pile for now. Maybe I should try a different angle. See, cause the light is not bad. Okay, the light is not bad from this angle. You get what I'm saying? It's just bad from that angle. So maybe I just can't shoot like that. The light is actually a little bit better this way too. You get what I'm saying? Light a little bit better. I don't know, it seems like it's in the way a little bit. It seems like it's in the way a little bit. Let's see. I'm glad I should get paused on playing with this camera angles. Like, this is really close. I don't know. This angle not bad, though. You really can't see all my crystals and stuff. But I don't know. I'm going to get it together, y'all. I think I can still shoot from the angle I used to shoot at. But I'll just have to get, like, a, um... I'll have to get, like, a, um... I have to get that light that I was said I was going to get. That overhead light. I definitely have to get that overhead light. Okay, how number one, what, how would your person describe you? So the first card you have out is the elephant. So how would your person describe you? The elephant is the card that you have, the card that you have. So funny story about these cards. And I had said it yesterday when I was telling them how I picked these cards because I was literally going into the store and I was going to the store to get oatmeal, right? And I seen these and I walked past these cards and you know, I'm a... I'm a, uh, I, I, guess, I don't know if I consider myself a tarot reader, even though I'm starting to write tarot, but I feel like I'm just a, a reader in general, right? I read energy. I don't really need cards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they, they help me explain. So my thing is, I can read by any card. So I know it's weird because it's like, girl, you got fucking like animal flashcards, but I don't know. It was something that made me grab them. Um, and I don't know. That's, that may be important for some context here, but, um, but yeah. So how would they describe you like your person describes you like and i say this and when i say this like take everything with a grain of salt because sometimes the things that we think so we think are like um 
Okay, that's perfect actually. So sometimes the things that we think think are annoying or like not um not good or whatever or or stuff that people may not like. Like it, it sometimes it be just what a person need. It be just what a person need, and sometimes they don't know they need it. Um, I'll say that something like that. You get what I'm saying? The reason why I, the reason why I, the reason why I say this, why I bring this up, is because it's like this person feels like you're smothering. And I, before I told you that you were smothering, I wanted you to realize like it's not a bad smothering. Like it's not like oh this girl is smothering me and <coughs> and. I can't breathe and da, da 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 like it's not it's not it's not giving that you get what I'm saying it's more so giving like um my girlfriend loves me very much or my boyfriend loves me very much my boyfriend is like you know I because I don't want to say a parent's love because that sounds weird as well but like you know how your parents you know how you can call your parents and they'll literally be there for you you know how you can call, you know how you can, um, call, you know how you can call your parents and they'll always be there for you? Like, they'll do anything that you want? You get what I'm saying? Like, and they're always going to protect you no matter what? It's giving, like, that type of energy. Like, that's how you make them feel. So, they feel smothered, but, like, smothered with love. Not smothered to the point, like, they're exhausted. Not smothered to the point. How will power normal person describe them? Not smothered to the point where they, they don't have any um, time to themselves. But they, they feel, like, completely loved. Completely loved. Then your next card out, your next card out is frogs, but you got two frogs there, and they look like they're having a conversation, and one of them look like they're telling the other one something that they didn't know. So, the way this person would describe you is somebody who's very smart, somebody who's very wise, somebody that they can talk to, like somebody who's um, interesting, and I mean that in the best possible way, like you're interesting, you're interesting to talk to, you're interesting to be around. Like, it's not boring. You know how some people just don't got nothing going on? Like, you can't really have a conversation with them. Or they care about, like, stupid TV shows like Baddies of the East. Like, I don't know. Like, all that low vibrational bullshit. Like, they don't really have... Like, if you was to ask them what their favorite book was, they'd be like, huh. And even if you're not a book, if you was to ask them what their favorite movie was, it'd be something stupid like Friday. You get what I'm saying? Like... Something easy to follow, nothing like, like not of substance, but like nothing mind block, nothing block, nothing mind um, jogging. Like it's nothing wrong with hope movies. I watch me a black hope movie here and there, but uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like to think. You get what I'm saying? I like to think. So your next card out is flamingo. How would they describe you? They would describe you as somebody who is sexy. I don't care. Flamingos are sexy as bird. They are exotic. They pink. They bright. They don't give a fuck. They want everybody to see them. A flamingo is an all pink bird. It's a tall, all pink bird. <laughs> like, it's a tall, all pink bird. You know how fat, bad ass that is? And I don't even really... And it's not like
like I see videos of like flamingos just being devoured by alligators. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, or I don't know if alligators live in the same place, but I will say this. What I'm trying to say is I don't see many videos of flamingos just being like um, hunted. Of course, I'm sure they probably are hunted because why wouldn't you hunt like a, like it's an animal. Some thought, some, everything eats everything as animals. But it's like they're not being hunted. You always see like a uh, gazelle, um, zebra, sometimes even giraffes. Rarely do you see an elephant. Sometimes you see elephants. You never see a hippo, but you never see a uh, hippo because they're the ones doing the attacking. So that's different. Um, So that's a little different. But when it comes to like flamingos, like you never see alligators with light with, with mouths full of flamingos. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But they're so bright and they seem like they would be drawing too much attention to themselves. But flamingos don't give a fuck who see them. And they don't even have no no crazy mechanism mechanisms. Like you get what I'm saying? They don't even have no crazy fighting mechanisms. They're pink. And it's absolutely beautiful. And they just stand around me absolutely beautiful all day. What? You get what I'm saying? Perfect. Look at this little hippo on the top. I thought I just said hippos. But yeah, so that's how I see you. They see you as somebody nurturing. This person has the hots for you, definitely. Definitely has the hots for you. They see you as nurturing, caring. It's kind of like fucking your, your best friend. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So, but your best friend got what you like in their pants. <laughs> and I, you get what I'm saying? So, it's like, ah, I, I like it. I like it. That's how I describe it. But, yeah, so that's what I have for you, pile number one. I hope it resonates. If it did, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information in the description box below. If you're interested in into my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a, a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead to my next pile. Okay, pile number two. Let's see what you were. You have the raccoon. So how would your person describe you? Bruh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna stir. But This person think that you sneaky. They think that you high in something. They think that you high in something. They think that you um they think that you high in something. They think that you um That you really got something like, you got something to you. Like, something to you as in like, 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 they don't really know you for real. Like, this person thinks that they don't, this person thinks that they don't really know you for real. They're like, I don't really know, I don't really know John for real. I don't really know, I don't really know John for real. I don't, I don't really know John for real. You get what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. You don't, but it's like, why would you think that of me anyway? You get what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> I hope y'all get what I'm saying. Because it's like, this, this, like, I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I just feel so slick right now. Like, this person, like, it's like, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, nah. Y'all ever seen that meme? It's like, it's like, yeah. But the whole time, it's like, nah. You get what I'm saying? It's like, it's giving like that. Because it's like, I get it. I get it. Because they're trying to use the excuses. I don't know you. I just met you. 
to have a bad impression of you. And that's why I don't really like. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know you. I just met you. That's why I got this bad impression. But it's like, you don't really have a bad impression every time you meet somebody. You only have a bad impression when you have a bad feeling or a thought about somebody. Whether it's due to your prejudice or it's just due to like a feeling or something about them that you just don't like. You get what I'm saying? And the way that you can tell when somebody really being an asshole or prejudiced or weird is because... It's like, it's not something that everyone has a problem with. Now, if you, okay, so let's say there's a person A, right? And this person A, okay, let's say this nigga, um, let's say, okay, I'm going to use a, I'm a nerd, so I'm going to use an Avengers, uh, I'm going to use an Avengers methods. Hopefully you know this. Um, uh, what's that purple nigga name? Thanos. Okay, let's say you, then, let's say you got Thanos, let's say you got Thanos, and let's say you got Captain America and Winter Soldier. Right? So it's like, Specifically, Captain America and Winter Soldier, right? So let's say Thanos. Everybody hate Thanos. We all know why we hate Thanos. You gonna say everybody hate this nigga? Cause he. We all know that. So it's okay that everyone is in agreement that we hate this person. But then it's like, but you're not Thanos. You're Captain America. Like, a Thanos is trying to destroy, destroy the world. He don't give a fuck about nobody himself. He say he do, but he really don't. He like you know what I'm saying like. So everybody hate him because he's a bad John. Like, we know he's a bad person, right? But it's like, you're Captain America, right? In Winter Soldier specifically. And in, in Winter Soldier, he was fighting, Captain America was fighting his team to save his best friend. So yeah, you're not really supposed to be fighting the other Avengers over a nigga that's like possessed or whatever was wrong with him was the reason why he was killing niggas was why, they, why the Avengers was trying to come get him, right? But it was a reason he wasn't doing it like off rip, like off rip. He was, it was a reason he was doing it. So it was like making them just for context, right? But so the whole time, Captain America is supposed to be a superhero, so he's fighting the other superhero heroes over this nigga that's clearly doing something wrong. But they don't understand because they don't know this man. But he know this man. You get what I'm saying? He know this man, so he know it's a reason why my friend is doing this. This is not my friend. So he fighting all his other friends over one friend. You get what I'm saying? Because they wrong. Like, it's like, get yeah, so it's like, yeah, this person is looking at you like, I don't like this person, this person do this, this person do that. But it's like, this person know that you Captain America. So even if you're doing something that they don't like, it's a reason why you're doing it. You're going to say, even, even if, like, let's say, like, you're like, let's say, <laughs> like, for those who are not nervous, let's say this is a friend like the smoke and drink, right? Like the smoke and drink, and you don't like the smoke and drink. So you just, when it, when you go out, you're like, no, I don't need the smoke and drink to have a good time, right? This person get offended because they be like, oh, what you think you better than me? And that's why they don't like you. So they're like, I don't trust what you, I don't trust power number two. They weird. But the whole time they're not weird. It's just like they're weird. So that's why it seems like you're weird. Like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. I hope that makes sense. I feel like it's gonna make sense to some people though. But like this person seeing you as sneaky, but it's like they're the ones being sneaky, so they're project I, okay, I guess I could I said a lot to say is I guess that what they're doing is they're projecting. This person do think you fine, though. They do think you fine. They do think you sexy with the flamingo. They do think you stand out. They do think everybody likes you. They do think you're nice to look at. They not jealous of your looks, though. They do think you're fine. Like, they'll definitely fuck you. <laughs> like, whether it's, like, a, a friend or or whatever or a lover, they'll definitely they'll take you down for sure. But would they trust you to enough to allow themselves to fall in love with you or really trust you as a friend? Never. <laughs> <laughs> never <laughs> this person rather die <laughs> like it's that serious you know what I'm saying because they just swear that you sneaky but whole time they sneaky <laughs> like they're the ones that's being sneaky so it's like it's no way like if this person is making me like this person is making it seem like oh I don't know this person's like making it seem like you're, it's your fault for their actions towards you which is crazy but how like this turn is like, I don't get this person. I don't get this person at all. Like, how are you mad at something that you don't even got no proof of nobody doing? Like, you got ladybugs. This tiger on the back, if that's significant, but that's somebody might have tiger print on or tiger something, something tiger, cat named tiger, something tiger significant, but ladybugs. It's like this person is like how they describe you as somebody who has a lot of friends. Like you have a lot of friends. You have a lot of suitors. You know what I'm saying? Like you have a lot of friends and you have a lot of suitors. 
it's like and it's it's crazy oh and it's crazy because look at this card y'all this is a fucking flash card it's, but let, let me tell y'all this look at this card this card has two it's two ladybugs and both of these ladybugs are looking at me on this side right but these three ladybugs are all looking at this one ladybug bro you can read with any cards i'm telling you when spirit leads you to a deck no matter how goofy that shit may be get it but anyway th what this is telling me is like this person you see yourself as like being lit and beautiful right they see yourself as being lit and beautiful but you don't realize a lot of other motherfuckers is looking at you it's not that maybe it's nobody really looking at them but they see your worth they okay so the thing is they see your worth and they know you see your worth but they don't know if you know how many other people see your worth too so it's like i guess they're trying to say they feel like you're sneaky because it's like why would you not be sneaky if you had that many options bro Power number two gotta be a gotta be a dude, and I stop myself from the end where I it gotta be a guy because guys have this stupid ass line of thinking. <laughs> like they think they because guys don't have like okay it's got it's some guys that have a lot of girls that have options, but you gotta be really really cute. You gotta be the star jock in high school and middle school. Like you gotta really be him for real. You get what I'm saying? But the average guy does not have hundreds and thousands of options just talking to him like because but you think about it girls think about it from my from my feminines or what are feminine energies right or girls you know what i'm saying and um you could i don't gotta clean myself about energy i'm not doing it i'm not doing it somebody arguing with me i'm not doing it listen y'all know what i mean for who is for who is for so okay i get it stop get out of my head yo i hate when i can hear people talking while i'm trying to read and it's like i know what you're saying and you're talking shit like while you're watching the reading i don't know why some people come through i really don't but anywho um like i was saying um yeah so it's like the average guy is not getting that many options, right? And that's cool. Like, but it's like, because of that, they think that just because girls get a lot of advances, that they accept every advance or they or they don't, at least they can't turn down those advances. They don't understand, like, a, a woman, a woman can have somebody talking to her every single day. She can have a man talking to her every single day and not talk to none of them. She can go out by her day and have everyone hit on her from the time she get up in the morning to the time she go to bed and not talk to even none of them consistently for 10 years. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Especially when you have shit to do or especially when you're just over it. When you're just over it, or you're just so happy in life you're just not concerned with that or you're just hurt and you want to focus on yourself. It's not that hard not to talk to men. That's what's crazy. It's hard for them to not talk to women because they want to have sex all the time. So every time they every time they, a woman talk to them, they'd be surprised, especially if she look good. And women are not taught to shoot their shot. Men are taught to shoot their shot. So this person thinking that you got to take everything that's thrown your way, not realizing that something is always thrown your way. So it's like, it's not, it's not that deep for you. So this person is thinking that you're sneaky because they're thinking that you're probably going to do something because you look good, you smell good, you talk good, you walk good. And it's like, I, I don't got time. This is going to cheat on me and I'm, she going to break my heart and I'm going to be ready to jump off a bridge. Whole time, you that's the farthest thing from your mind. You're not even that type of person. That's what I'm saying. That's when I'm going to go back to Thanos and go back to Thanos and, uh, um, and Captain America, like Thanos, it, it's, it's really Thanos hoes out here. It's really Thanos girls out here. I'm telling you, it's really Thanos girls. Like, okay, bro, like she really out here a heartbreaker. She don't even got to do that man like that. You get what I'm saying? And some girls will really make you feel bad for a man. Some girls, some girls, bro, they will really, I admire them. I would never do what they do, but, and I don't see how they could do it. I got, I, but those girls, like, it's girls out there. I've seen, I've heard some girls say they did some stuff. And I'm like, girl, I wouldn't even do that to a human. Like, I know he a man. I know he a man, but I wouldn't do that to a human being. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you're wilding, right? But it then it's some, it then it's some women who just really don't care. Like, they really just, just, they, they, they might have everything that them thin those girls got, but she really Captain America, like, as long as you don't play with her, she's not finna play with you. But she always gonna do what's right, regardless. You get what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. It's like you're giving off that Thanos energy, but you really Thor. And they can't see it because you're basically hot. So, I don't know. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Uh, I said Captain America. <laughs> Some people are probably like, huh? Like, I don't know, y'all. That was just, that was the rest.
reference I have for you guys. But with that being said, I love this camera, yo. I can't wait till I know how to use it because I can record for so long. I don't even gotta get off right now. I can I can sit up here and chill, you know. But yeah, I, um, I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Um, thank you for watching this um, video. If it resonated, um, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification so you can notify every time I post a video. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, that information description box below. Remember, I only do four a week. I have three more left at this point. So if you're interested in getting a reading, make sure you make that purchase. Also, join if you would like to join my Patreon, you can see all my Freaky Fridays. And if you join the second tier, you get a free reading every single month. That information is also in the description box below. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next reading. Bye. Ugh.